Oh, good morning to you guys, not to me. I've been working on the fence here. Oh, I'm super proud of it. I'm very uh, happy with the way it's coming out. Got the barbed wire on, had to weld up some uh, little hooks on there to uh, get the barbed wire to stay. Had to cut the rail and weld it and everything. Then went back and cut all the rails on top, made sure it was real good. Uh, I am just very, very excited with how it's coming out. It has taken a long time, a lot longer than expected, uh, than I would like and hope, but this is the front entrance to our property, and we take a lot of pride in what we do here, and uh, it's been a while. We feel like we've had so many ups and downs and twists and turns and things happen in our life that being here, we feel like a, like truly like a whole, a whole new start a whole new chapter and uh, we are taking our time and we're worrying less about YouTube videos and doing more uh, spending more time and effort on our projects uh, being a youtuber it is very difficult to do and uh, to find the balance in that because again we've talked about it before but uh, you, you got to put out content to make money so you don't have to go work a normal job and do all that stuff um, it, it is a thing right now where Danielle she's right now going to be gone for a week uh, Training for her new position. Some people were like, what are you talking about? Why, why where is she gonna be? She quit her job uh, She did quit and then they offered her a uh, promotion and uh got a different uh, job and everything so she's training and then once the training is over she'll be working three days a month uh, as far as we know so it should be a um, pretty flexible uh, schedule that way we can get back on track and work with both of us out here uh, today I didn't film any of this and I'm okay with that it felt really good and I don't know how, how else to say this, but it felt really, really good to just work and concentrate and not worry about filming. I was going to try to film it and stuff, and I was just like, you know what? I just, I don't want to. I, I want to focus on getting it done correctly and, and spend all my time figuring it out. Again, this is the front. This is the first thing people see when they're pulling up. It's going to help keep... Uh, trespassers from coming in because yes we do have a problem with that unfortunately uh, not just because we're in this neighborhood or this area or whatever when you put your life on the internet you get a lot of people hating and I'm sure you guys see videos out there all the time uh, people like that will do anything to bring someone else down and and come try to make their life miserable uh, but also it's a pretty tall fence um, it's literally almost as tall as I am, and we did it that way because one, let's make a statement, you know. Let's uh, let's do a big fence in the front. Let's uh, let's really, you know, make a statement here of go big or go home, and we're already home, so let's go big. And so uh, that, and then also, you guys know, or maybe some of y'all don't know, uh, Lambo, our Highland cow, bull calf. He is at uh, Juno's and been there, unfortunately, way too long. So massive shout out to the Juno's for uh, continuing to be our friends and take care of our boy. And we are working on it, guys. But um, uh, he jumps fences. And the last thing we would want is for him to jump the front fence and get out in the road. We are so much closer here to a road than we were at the other place that uh, we have a nice tall fence. Of course, all of this will be uh, enclosed, but that's a pretty tall fence. If he jumps it, we'll be very impressed, but we think this will keep him from jumping it. It's a pretty tall fence. I think someone might be driving up. I hope they don't stop. They may be going the other way, uh, but um, we are trying to do things right and do things how we want them to look and really have a vision and uh, I've been spending a lot of time drawing out stuff and and doing it on uh, the computer and trying to make it look as realistic as possible so uh, Danielle and I could see the vision that we're going for and um, yeah here they come I think it's the mail uh, truck so they'll go by pretty quick uh, but uh, um, 
we are trying to figure out our uh, um, vision and everything so doing it on the uh, computer it makes it a lot easier to uh, figure things out make it uh, where Danielle and I are on the exact same page come on girls hey go read some books go read some books um, but uh, it makes it a lot easier for us to uh, visualize it when we can see it Rufio hey roof's the worst roof stay over there buddy He's gonna come over now. Um, but we're also working on the uh, floor plan and everything for the uh, grain bin. Guys, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, sit. Hey, no. Nah. Nope. Um, it's later in the day, they're pumped. Uh, they've been chilling all day. The weather is phenomenal today. That's why another reason I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna focus on building and getting this stuff done and uh, it's a great day uh, when I'm by myself I just put in headphones I've been listening to Joe Rogan podcast then I put on some music and um, it felt good to do this type of work and not have to film I could let my brain rest uh, last night I could not sleep I stayed up to like 3 or 4 a.m. I don't remember and didn't get a whole lot of uh, rest and I was thinking about how we're gonna build the barn how we're gonna build out the grain silo or the grain bin Rufio hey come here boy he likes to go to the road and um, trying to figure all that out and I could not shut my brain off so uh, to be able to um, come out and just focus on this and not worry about all the other stuff and videos and how to how to make it all look good um i just i just shut it off i zoned out i put music in podcast and um i i know this is a hard thing for people to to realize how my brain works and even danielle and stuff um once our brain kicks in and we get into creative mode it doesn't turn off so that could be literally waking up um, in the middle of the night and then start thinking about things and we won't go to sleep because um, for me personally last night I built five different types of barns in my head start to finish um, a bunch of different floor plans for the grain bin how to work on this fence how to do the entrance all the stuff I could visualize everything in my head without drawing it out or anything and uh, I could do step by step and, and do all that which is a huge um, uh, I don't even know, I can't think of the word. Um, a huge thing, I guess. Uh, a lot of people probably wish they could do that. Um, but I, I, I wish that I was like a lot of people and I could turn it off. And um, it's a, a curse and a blessing at the same time to where um, I'm fortunate enough that I could build things in my head step by step and break it down and do all that stuff um, and figure it out. And that's a blessing, but it's a curse because then I'll spend uh, time overthinking things. I'll spend time not be able to sleep, not be able to turn it off. And um, this was something, this is years back when I first started YouTube. And uh, I was down at the ranch doing some work and stuff and went to that, my parents' house. And my mom just asked me, she's like, can you even sleep at night? Do you, like, can, Are you able to sleep at, now, at night or does your brain, like, does it ever stop? And uh, unfortunately, it does not stop. It does not shut down. I can't put it in sleep mode. Um, but uh, I don't know. It, it's an awesome thing. But again, it's a huge curse because like last night, I couldn't sleep. I had a late start this morning. And uh, that's why I missed Coffee the Crockers and stuff. But uh, um, doing this and, and focusing on everything and, and trying to maybe not do YouTube as much uh, video-wise, try to get the work done. And, and I'm doing what you guys told me to do and said, don't worry so much about the video. Just film it and do the work and then we'll watch. We love watching it. And um, the last video of doing the fence it got a really good reaction and uh, also some people were like um, everyone's like man Jason you're working hard you're working hard and everyone's like uh, not everyone some people are like why are you why are people not talking about Danielle and honestly Danielle woke up read the comments she's like man have you seen that everyone's um, saying nothing but good things about you working hard and this and that she was proud of it and there's things videos when people just say things about Danielle and I'm proud of her for that that people notice these things and um, we're, we don't get offended by it or you know if, one, if they're saying one of us is working hard or whatever and don't mention the other person but I don't know I'm very happy with this I'm very excited and uh, I am very very much super pumped with the way it's coming out so we're gonna try to get you a video um, 
if not tomorrow for Friday, I might go live by myself, but uh, a video on Monday for sure. So be looking out for that. May go live 7 p.m. if it's Friday. I don't even know what day today is. I think, I don't know. Yeah, who knows what day it is. I, I, somebody does, I don't know. But getting this done, it feels good to see it. I'm very proud of it. I'm very happy. I'm sending pictures to Danielle. It sucks she's been gone for a whole week, but we're gonna get the things we're gonna get things done that we need to. When she comes out, we'll uh, tag team this again. But because of that, um, it may be slower on videos, but because of you guys supporting and everything, and uh, you know knowing how things go, um, it makes me feel better. It truly does. It takes the stress away. So. Thank you guys, appreciate you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.